Chicago. This game college at about 4,500 fans. Turned out a 90 degree heat, probably hotter down on the field, but fans of all ages, shapes and sizes, weathered the lines to get to their favorite player or coach. Don Shula parked himself under the goalpost and signed autographs for Dolphin Rooters. As always, the starting quarterback, David Woodley, had the longest line, picking up where Bob Greasy left off. Woodley could hardly breathe with all these signature seekers surrounding him. And maybe his arm was tired by the time the Dolphins scrimmaged because Woodley was just three of eight, including this acrobatic interception by Fulton Walker, who meets teammate Lyle Blackwood up close. The number two man, Don Strock, also intercepted. He did connect with Jimmy Cephalo on a 41-yard touchdown pass, Cephalo's only catch of the day. Nebraska free agent Frank Lockett had two receptions in the scrimmage. Both went for scores. Jim Jensen, who was 9 of 14 for 168 yards, was on the other end of both of those. And newly signed place kicker Herb Menhart had two field goals. This one was good from 54 yards out. Ed Garvey, the NFL Players Union Executive Director, said today that the players only have one choice, and that is to strike unless the owners send in different representatives. He said the talks have been fruitless because the present owner reps refused to negotiate, adding that his side is sticking to its percentage of the revenue demand.